Hi everybody, welcome to Euro Channel. Penile enlargement and penile size are topics of interest for many men. But what makes a penis grow in the first place and when? Ever wondered why some have large penises and others don't? And what has your mother to do with this? Here are some answers. My name is Stefan Buntrock, I'm a urologist and sexologist. What determines penis size? Actually, not an easy question because many things are still unclear in penile development. If you want to know why your penis looks like it does and maybe differs in size from your brothers, you will have to go back in time and have a look at your parents because genetics play an important role in penile development. Gender is determined by our genes. I am only talking about normal development here to make it easier to understand. The information about gender is encoded on the sex chromosomes. These are called X and Y. In normal development, you will get one sex chromosome from your mother and one from your father. From your mother, you will get an X chromosome and from your father, you could get an X chromosome or a Y chromosome. If you inherit the X, then you will become a girl. If you inherit the Y, then you will become a boy. So boys end up with a pattern XY, girls with XX. When it comes to the penis, here is the thing. The fact that you have a penis is a result of the Y chromosome. But the X chromosome from your mother is responsible for size and girth. And remember, your mother has two X chromosomes. So it is possible that one X contains the code for a large penis while the other doesn't. This is why sometimes differences can be seen in siblings. There are probably more factors involved than that, but this is roughly how it works. But this is not it. Genetics only outline possibilities, not how things will eventually turn out. Just look at it like the seed of a flower. If you plant it and the soil is not right, it doesn't get much water, and exposure to sunlight isn't that great either, it might not live up to its genetic potential, but rather stay puny. It's the same with a penis. It needs mainly testosterone and its metabolite dihydrotestosterone and probably also growth hormone at critical periods within penile development. It is believed that androgens are responsible for 70 to 75% of the adult penile length. The first critical window of opportunity occurs in fetal life between weeks 8 and 18. The placenta produces HCG, human chorion gonadotropin, which starts testosterone production in the fetal testicles, which makes the penis develop and grow for about 2 to 3 millimeters only. But before birth, it will grow an additional 2 centimeters. Furthermore, so-called backdoor androgen production has been discovered. This means dihydrotestosterone from sources other than testosterone, most probably from androsterone, which is derived from progesterone from the placenta. You know that structure in the uterus that provides the fetus with oxygen and nutrients. This period seems to be very important how penile size will turn out in adult life as it is most likely predetermined during these weeks. It will grow under the influence of androgens at two subsequent points later in life, but most probably only to that predetermined size. This means that any interference with androgenization during that period may result in a less pronounced or even faulty penile development. This is a very complex process and because of that, the male external genitalia are the most common location for birth defects. Up to 0.8% of baby boys are affected. Problems might arise within the placenta or it may also be disruptors from outside. For example, maternal thalli exposure has been proposed to interfere with normal genital development. Thallies are a group of chemicals that are mainly used to soften plastic and can be found in all kinds of products, including personal care products. After birth, testosterone levels rise again for a second testosterone surge that starts approximately day 7, peaks at the age of 2 to 3 months and is back to indifferent levels at 6 months. The penis will grow by 5 to 8 millimeters during this time and then growth will slow down until puberty when testosterone will rise again. During puberty, it will grow to its full size. And that's it. 
If you think you will be able to increase your penis size by injecting testosterone, you are mistaken. It is not possible. Testosterone therapy works in certain patients with micropenis, but only before adult life. Most probably, it will be in early infancy where androgen receptor expression is on top and androgen sensitivity is very high. But even then, because of the androgen shortage in fetal life, the penis will probably not develop to its full genetic potential in adult life. If you want to know more about normal penile size in adulthood, I advise you to have a look at these two videos. The older one uses centimeters. In the new one, I am giving you the dimensions in inches. So choose your metrics. Please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.